and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Tales of Monkey Island. We are in a manatee's stomach, it seems. Let's continue on. I do have Murray in my coat somewhere. I'm sure he's getting along fine. There's a shipwreck behind us. It's a ship named the Howler Monkey. The Howler Monkey. Why does that sound vaguely familiar like it's from one of the other games but i don't remember apparently this is bile there's a pool of bile here a pool of acidic yellow bile what the hell is this a monkey face i like it i'll add that to my pirate face repertoire hey we are adding things to our pirate face repertoire Ooh, an iron monkey i can't reach it uh, but I can reach these things here. Uh, we'll go strange growth first. Yeah, these are like tubes. They're so gross. Moist, but expedient. It is expedient, is it? All right, now that we have gone through it, we can actually go back. We have to like unlock them by going through them over on this side. All right, we'll go through the odd protuberance. Emphasis on tube. Ew. Well, that's not gonna work. I don't want to know what stopped him. Uh, what we actually need to do... Is there something else? Oh, that's where the uh, protuberance will take us out. Uh, what we need to do is head through the weird bump. This is actually going to be important for later. This is the one that goes right next to Noogie. Speaking of Noogie, how you doing, buddy? Noogie, my man. Uh, I could use your vote in the Brotherhood, man. I could really use your vote to the Brotherhood. Oh, I don't know about that. We got a pretty stable force in here, and I don't think Bug Eye likes you much anyway. Well, let me do you a favor. Like? My prize pocket protector, that's a good one. Do you laundry for a week, that's a good one. Uh, this one's probably going to be impossible oh for the record i never brought that up morgan le fay without that l there morgan le fay uh that's you know an evil enchantress sorceress lady in the king arthur legend thought i would point that out now that i do remember it a prize pocket protector i'll give you my prize pocket protector why would i want that what am i some kind of nerd uh sextant do anything for you uh, laundry for a week I'll do your laundry for a week. We let the manatees' natural enzymes run their course when it comes to cleanliness, so no. That's gross. All right, I'll get you a date. I don't think this is going to work, though. I'll get you a date with the beautiful, dangerous Morgan LaFlay. Really? You think she'd say yes? No. To a stud such as yourself? Of course. Wow. Okay. If the date goes well, you have my vote. Oh, damn Deal. it. In the meantime, here is a new member's manual. It might be worth looking over if you're serious. It's full of our initiation rituals, neophyte duties, etc. Hazing rituals? By law, we're no longer allowed to use the word hazing. We call them enhanced initiation techniques. Sounds delightful. One day, coming up. But it has to go well? How could that go well? Oh, we did get a new item. Let's take a look at it. It is the new member's manual. It reads, The Democratically United Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior, a guide for the newly initiated. The first chapter is Initiation and You. Hmm. The cover is loose. The cover is loose? That's got to be important for something, but uh, maybe not yet. All right. Oh, before we do move on from you. Hey, my man. Arr, arr, yar. Ooh, that's a good one. And we've learned a new pirate face technique as a result. How you doing, Moose? Hi. Sup? Arr, arr. Nice technique. We got like the snarl going. That's pretty good. Okay, uh, we'll talk with uh, Morgan. We'll, we'll come back for Moose. Hey, Mo. What is it? Arr! Arr! Ooh, that's a new one. Squinty-eyed. That might work. Hey, Mo. What is it? We're writing quite a few things here. Noogie, isn't he cute? It's not really the best time for this, but uh, how about that guy over there? Pretty cute, huh? Four eyes? 
kind of portly if you ask me. Really? That's Come on. The... You should go on a little manatee date with him. No way. I feigned enough romance for one day. Well, what about... I thought ours was real. So, uh, what we have to do in order to get this to work is a recon mission. Did I say date? <laughs> no, I meant reconnaissance mission. He's dangerous. My guess? Assassin. Really? Yeah, really. Here's the play. Shoot! It's a three-phase operation. First, you should... Right, and then once again, it has to go well, so we kind of have to do things in a certain order. Also, really, the first thing that you noticed about him was that he was a little chubby. Seriously. Uh, what you have to do first is slightly interrogate him. Interrogate him. Ask him about himself. Let's figure out where this low life is from. Okay. Second, you must... Second, she must test his grip. Take his hand. Test his grip. In case it comes to fisticuffs. Okay. Lastly? And thirdly, check for weapons. Check for weapons. Give him a pat down. When things turn to duck soup, we need to know what we're facing. Okay. Okay, so... Interrogate. Test his grip. And then... Check for weapons. You got it. Good luck. I've got your six. Thanks. So, what was between us was nothing? Apparently not. But apparently it was nothing. I thought things were going so well. High five! She doesn't want to high five my hook hand at all. Hey, Noogie. How was the date? At first I was really nervous. Yeah? But it turned out great. She was so into me. First, she wanted to know all about me. She was interested right off the bat. Nice. Then she made the first move and took my hand. I knew I was doing well. Second base. Hand holding. Mr. Big Stuff over here. And then before I knew it, she's got her hands all over me. It was awesome. The perfect date. Glad to hear it went well. So I've got your vote. Certainly. Oh man, I'm putting all of this in my journal. I even found a strand of a hair on my vest. That's going in too, as a keepsake. Getting creepy. Just a little bit. <laughs> uh, sorry. Just a little bit creepy. And they're saving my game because I did things well. Okay. Moose, now it's time to work on you Hi. a bit. Sir. I propose a toast. Oh, well, let's talk about this again. I think I could count on your vote. Man, that's a tough one. I try not to get too wrapped up in the politics of the group. That's the beauty of democracy, man. Let other people make the big decisions, and you can just ride the wave. I just vote for whoever Santino goes in for. Fair enough. Propose a toast, then. I propose a toast. It's a special occasion. Righteous. What's the occasion? Oh, they're giving me the same stuff? That's not that great. It doesn't really matter what day it is. Root Tuesday. Woohoo! He's just as excited, no matter what you do. All right, and then he goes in for the drink, so now I need to be kind of quick here. I could leverage your power of mobility for true evil. It's lonely in here. Like, put this knife right on. Right on that. Is he looking? You've got some big pockets. I do. Hey, Moose, did you know it's Huggin' Otter Day? No way! That deserves a drink! Think about it. Think about it. Weigh it carefully in your hand. And switch! Look out for the rock! <laughs> Threepwood, you have made the greatest mistake of your life! In my new corporeal form, I will scorch these lands to the ground, only to rebuild them in my nefarious, almighty image. So, oh, you like your new setup? I do. Santino, bro, you want to spot me on this one? Men pledge their allegiance to me. Our brotherhood is a bond forged in the flames of hell. North. Perhaps I will revel in this union of brothers for a moment. Before burning the world. Terror will come to this manatee, rest assured. He's gonna cause so much stomach irritation. Okay, I do believe that I can actually go back up to the mouth, and that is what I want to do. Yeah, it doesn't make it seem like you would be able to do that, but you can just go back up. 
kind of weird. Ah, deck hand. Could you do me a favor? Shoot. I'm parched. I would love a drink, but none of that yellow muck. Dangerous stuff that is. Makes my eyes go wilder than a frothing Pomeranian. Okay. One drink coming up. Okay, apparently we're going to get him a drink. But what I want to do is I believe I just want to wait here for a little bit. Yes. Take the monocular. Is that what they called it? Where has my monocular run off to, slippery devil? Yeah, they called it a monocular. All right, what we want to do is grab the monocular, the one lens glasses, and combine it with the fish out of the manatee that we got from, like, chapter two. Hmm, these lenses are about the same size. Dacaba's monocular now has a red lens. He'll see the manatee through rose-tinted glasses, or uncover loads of secret messages. Indeed he will. Now, I want to just slip them back right there. Hey, I found these. Your monocular, boss. Thank heavens. I was going mad without them. No harm done to them. Uh, the lens was cracked when I found it, so I replaced it. How resourceful of you, crewman. Taking after old Coronado, I see. Indeed, I am. All right. We're free to head back down to the belly. Right past the uvula. Hey, you. Rebel Rouser. No, yes. the other one. Santino. Are you enjoying your time with the democratically united brotherhood of the Manatee Interior? How can I not? Can't wait to be voted in. We'll see about that. In the meantime, I don't want any trouble. We got it nice and easy down here. Okie dokie. Just some friendly advice. Don't be poking around up top and stay away from Dakava. The last thing this manatee needs is his sense of direction restored. We don't need to be getting to any sacred mating grounds. Seriously, I've never seen manatees mate before, but I'm pretty sure I don't want to be inside one when I do. That's a good idea. I'm glad we're on the same page. You guys could just get out of it, though. And once again, I've done something well, so the game saves for me. Now, I believe I want to talk to Noogie again. Noogie, my man. Could you play something a little bit faster for me? I like the beat. How about something a little more up-tempo? Like this? I dig it. All right, now we head through the weird bump. We gotta do this a little bit quickly, which is why we need to open that passage up. All right, now grab the mug and use it on the pool of bile. One cup of horribly corrosive, ultra-toxic manatee bile. Delish. It's better than grog, I'm sure. And I believe we're ready to go. Wait. No, no, no. Hold on. No, there's definitely a few things that I want to do with this bile. I was thinking, hey, we'll head back up. Nope, we want to do some things down here first. Uh, we want to use it with the painting first. Manatee bile, the ocean's natural solvent. That's one way to look at it. Oh, check out those peepers. They should do nicely. Okay, you do way too many things with your eyes. Just because I see it doesn't mean I can do it. You are gifted, Guybrush. We still have tons more bile, by the way. Uh, so let's put it in the clogged protuberance. Much better. Well, better anyway. Yeah, so now we can go through the odd protuberance. Once again, emphasis on tube. And we can make it to the other side with the iron monkey. Silver monkey? Huh. No, look at that. Somebody should really return this to their local library. Modern torture made easy. Yeah, I really hate to break a sweat while breaking the wills of my enemies. Now, this goes against everything that I would have thought would happen, but uh, what you want to do is combine the manual and the torture manual together. With a little elbow grease, I can swap the covers on these two books. I'm not sure that's entirely what I wanted to do. It doesn't sound like a good idea, but uh, We'll just go with that for the time being. And we will head through this 
yet again. Uh, then we'll head through the strange growth, which will take me close to where I want to go. It makes things a little bit faster. And then we can head out to the mouth. Now, we can go talk to Coronad Kava. Tell him, hey, I got your stuff. Now that he has the rose-tinted glasses on, it will look like uh, the same yellow stuff to him. Ah, a mug full of the bily bubbly. And thank you for avoiding the corrosive yellow icon. Check out those eyes. <laughs> oh, even the orange has gone foul. Never again! It's Eustachian runoff or seawater for me from here on! I'm sure that will last long for you. Alright, with that last one obtained, we are ready to head back to the belly. Oh, nice slide. You went full spread eagle on that, didn't you? But, now that we have all that, we are free to head back to good old bug eye here. I think I'm ready. Hi there! Now what? I'm ready to challenge you, my friend. Let's go another round. Haven't had enough yet, dollface. Ready? I'll go first. You do that. It's the... Arrgh, stinky, lazy-eyed, meanie. <clears throat> oh, is this a pilgrim face competition? I could have sworn you said pirate. Let me show you. Okay, so stinky, lazy-eyed meanie will go with the nasty, tweaking monkey. Sure, that's our new face. That is, well, no, bugged out. There we go. That shows off the tweaking all that we want. It's the arr, bugged out, tweaking monkey. <laughs> Gnarly! Cheap Whistle has made it through the first round! Nice, but can you top this? Here comes the... Arrgh. Hooded, cross-eyed geezer! <laughs> Here comes trouble! Was that supposed to be scary? Hey, I finished it out. Hooded, cross-eyed geezer. We'll go with the stinky, lazy-eyed gomer. He's got the arr, stinky, lazy-eyed Gomer. Ah. Some fresh moves, but not enough. Partial originality is as good as none at all. Bug Eye wins. You've got nothing, boy. I'm just warming up. Yeah, we'll try that again. I messed that up. That one's on me. 